Hey everybody, welcome back to Grain Markets and Other Stuff. Thank you for joining me. Uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, thank you for tuning in. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, if you like this sort of content, make sure you hit that like button. It will really help me out in regard to YouTube, in regard to growing this channel, and uh, I really appreciate it. For those, for those of you listening on the podcast, uh, thank you again for tuning in. Make sure you leave me a review if you have not already, especially on that Apple Podcast app. Um, good, bad, and ugly. I'd like to hear all of them. Any comments that you may have, uh, feel free to uh, go ahead and do that. I figured I'd take just a couple minutes today to share one piece of advice with you. Over the last few months, I've had a number of conversations with farmers who have who are involved in, in different types of cash contracts. And in this instance, I'm talking specifically about things like uh, accumulator contracts, premium pricing contracts, different sort of over-the-counter products. They come in, in many different shapes and sizes. Um, there, there are very rarely two that are, are totally identical. It seems like they've all got different nuances and different features. But uh, in any case, I figured I would discuss this for a second. The, the typical conversation that I'll have with somebody about this occurs after the fact, after the contract has already been put into place. And a lot of these were put in place, you know, weeks, if not months ago. And t to go back to something that I said last week, just about any flat price marketing decision that you've made in corn, soybeans, or wheat as of late just doesn't look that great right now. The markets are trading at multi-year highs. And of course, any any sale that you've made over the last several months just doesn't look good relative to what you may, may be able to do um, today. So uh, that's not really anything that, that I can fix for you. I can't fix your bad sales for you. What I can do and, and what I would suggest that you do in the future, the next time you're considering one of these contracts, whether it be um, an accumulator contract, a premium pricing contract, any one of these more exotic kind of like structured products, I would very strongly suggest that you get a second opinion about the contract uh, before you become involved, that you talk to somebody who can uh, provide you with all of the pros and cons of that particular contract uh, prior to becoming involved in it. And it's, it's not that this isn't always something that everyone does. Um, I think a lot of people will just be presented with the contract. They'll say, yeah, that sounds fine to me. I'm okay with doubling up my corn sales if we get to X price or whatever. But it, it oftentimes can become a little bit more complicated than that. So I think that some sort of third party um, is, is, can be very, very useful in this situation just to take the idea and bounce it off of that third party. Whether that third party is your uh, broker or somebody like myself or another farmer who understands this stuff or maybe even somebody at at a different uh, cash grain facility. I, I think just just bouncing these ideas off of, of a third party or even multiple other parties before you get involved um, could, could really be helpful to you and, and really may help you to avoid some mistakes down the road. What I really want to make sure of is that you understand what it is that you're getting involved in before you do it. Um, you know, everybody's going to have bad sales uh, throughout the course of just about every year. But what you don't want to become involved in is, is sales that are bad and, and that you didn't understand. Um, I'm in kind of a unique position because I, I own this business and I have no ties to any cash grain buyer, any uh, big company, nothing like that. So I'm kind of in a unique position to act as that third party for a lot of people, but it, it doesn't have to be me. It can be it can be anybody. Like I said, it could be your neighbor who maybe understands these cash grain contracts a little bit better than you. It could be um, really anybody that that is just a third party that maybe has your best interest uh, in mind. And, and I'm not saying at all that the people offering these, these contracts don't have your best interest in mind, because I, I don't think that's the case at all. Um, I, I just think that a second, third, fourth, fifth, fifth opinion uh, may not be the worst thing in the world uh, when it comes to these sort of contracts. So don't be afraid to do it. Don't be afraid to pick up the phone or, or visit with somebody, anybody who understands these sort of contracts and, and talk about it. It, it. it can be a very short conversation. It could be a five to 10 minute conversation that uh, could help you steer clear of, of some really bad stuff or maybe could lead you to a really great decision in regard to some of these contracts. Like I said, none of them are really created equal. Um, I've seen some stuff that I really like. I've seen some stuff that I really don't like. So this is, is not by any means 
me uh, bashing these sort of contracts or bashing the people that offering that offer them. Um, what I'm really trying to do is make sure that you, as as the person involved in, in these contracts who will ultimately deliver on these contracts, I want to make sure that you understand it. And um, that's the name of the game. And, and for a lot of you out there, uh, this may be elementary type stuff that, that you've known for years and years. But uh, I know for a fact that for a lot of you, it's not. Um, if you have any questions about this, shoot me an email to info at standardgrain.com. You can drop a comment in the uh, YouTube video. I'll certainly reply to it. Everyone have a nice day today. Uh, we'll catch you a little bit later.